Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sajshram Malyala, 2023 graduate from NIT Varangal. So, as you all know, today is June 10th and uh, Josa 2024 is officially starting today at 5 p.m. So, I think they have started a little bit late with around 30-40 minutes, I guess. So, yeah, uh, so registration is started. Uh, as you know, I have already posted a video regarding the complete schedule, what you have to do every uh, phase-wise, everything I have clearly explained uh, in that particular video. If you didn't watch that video, please go and watch. And previously, I made a video regarding documents required for JOSA, including during counseling and after counseling, what all you need. Everything I have compiled in a single video and I've already posted it. Please check that video as well. And coming to this video, in this particular video, I'm going to show you live registration of JOSA 2024. How you have to register, what all things you have to check while you are registering is what I'm going to show you in this particular video. Don't skip the video. Watch carefully and complete your registration. Any mistake in the registration might affect you a lot. Okay, so it's a matter of your two years, three years of preparation of JE, and it's 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 going to affect your upcoming uh, career as well, right? Chalo, without taking much time, let's get into the video. But before that, uh, just hear about my mentorship program. If you are someone who is participating in JOSA and you are looking for someone to help you throughout the process, we are here to help you guys. So we are offering a mentorship program at triple nine rupees. It's going to increase soon. So if you want to uh, buy or if you want to join in the discounted price, do check out the payment link in the description. So in the mentorship program, you will be assigned with a mentor who will be guiding you, you throughout the counseling process from A to Z. Uh, in each and every part like choice filling uh, like giving you deadlines and is helping you during document verification how to upload where to upload what to upload all these things will be clarified to you and i have the mentors who have experience since last two to three years so we have been doing this since last four years so these are fourth year right okay so if you are someone who is interested to join that mentorship program do check out the payment link in the description once after paying within 24 hours you will be added to the whatsapp group and you will be assigned a separate mentor i don't call them a mentor you will be assigned with separate your elder brother or elder sister to you so who will be guiding you throughout the counseling process right so chalo check out that link and uh, okay guys uh, i'm really waiting for all of you whoever is going to join so if you want to talk to me regularly about josa and all that take guidance from me as well do register now check out the link in the description so coming to josa registration 2024 josa registration so this is the official website check the link in the description i will give this official website link and here you can see uh, josa uh, online choice filling and registration and online choice filling has started so according to the schedule today it, it should start at 5 o'clock but it started by 30 40 minutes late i guess as far as i have seen on the website here you will get all the updates test schedule business rules faqs previous year opening versus closing ranks and all that and here you have uh, public notices there is nothing to display as of now and the main important links will be here candidate activity board right so on this if you see online registration and choice filling right just click this so when you click this you will be taken to this particular page so whoever is registering for the first time here so you have to click new candidate registration here so once you click new candidate registration you have to fill your application number candidates name mother name date of birth security pin and submit it then uh, like i'll show you from here on so i uh, have already done uh, registration for one of my cousin so here like i'll be uh, showing his particular registration video here so please watch it carefully and complete your registration step by step don't miss any part okay okay if you miss it it might affect you a lot as i said earlier okay so once you enter all the details asked for and click on submit so when you click submit it will be asking you for the otp so the otp will be sent to your registered mobile number or email id so every time this is one good thing so it uh, will be keeping your account very safe so you have to enter the otp and click on submit so once you click on submit you will be taken to this particular page where you have to enter your password and confirm the same password so the password should be at least have try to keep a very big password like at least one capital letter eight 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 or more letters at least one special character one number so it's a mix of everything so it will be very safe okay and then it will be asking you for the security question so if at all you want to pa change password in future you can select any of the security question so based on your choice it's up to you so whatever security question you can check so there are a lot of like what is your favorite book pet name school name and all that uh, vehicle first vehicle and all that so have selected for so first school and have entered something <laughs> i can't share sorry 
and then if you click on create password so the password will be created and uh, so this is how uh, you are going to see once the password is created so your password must be kept confidential and all care must be taken so once you click on click here to login so you will be coming back to this particular page here you have to enter the application number and the password which you have generated just now okay and this is a security pin which is already there uh, below so once after entering it click on login so again it will ask you for the OTP so the OTP will be again sent to your mobile number or email ID so once you enter the OTP which you received click on submit so you will be taken to this particular page where there are important instructions which you have to read and understand and then select whether you are agreeing it or you are not agreeing it so if you are agreeing it you will be taken forward if you don't agree they will ask you to read completely maybe maybe they will not allow you forward so once after reading that if you click on I agree button then they will ask ok you have to submit ok and then they will show you your personal details here you can't edit the personal details and ranks only you can edit is verify and update the following information right so gender nationality passing place of class 12 and state of eligibility so this is where you can edit so state of eligibility is nothing but the state where you are completing your class 12 not the state where you are born for example i am a bihari and i came to hyderabad and completed my class 12 so in that case my class state of eligibility will be telangana but not bihar so please keep that in the mind even if you are from andhra and came to hyderabad for studying class 12 and completed your 12th in telangana or hyderabad in that case also state of eligibility is telangana not andhra pradesh okay so the class the state where you complete your class 12 is called state of eligibility but not the state where you born if you if both are same it's fine so it's all about the state where you completed your class 12 so check everything only these things can be edited above upper wala things you can't edit like category and all that then click on i declare so there uh, so there is a checkbox right you have to check that box and proceed for review so you will be taken to proceed to review here and once you click on proceed to review you have edit credentials and confirm registration so if you feel that in the gender nationality play, uh, passing place of class 12 or state of eligibility if you feel like you made any mistakes you can go back to edit credentials and again you can edit them if you want okay check the state of eligibility again i am saying state of eligibility is nothing but the state where you completed your class 12 then click on confirm registration just i declare again and then again come after coming here you can click on confirm registration so once the registration is done this is how you are going to see so that's what uh, more about registration here you will be having candidate profile so you will be having all the personal details and these are the choices available so my cousin did not qualify for je advance so that's why if i select iits there are no options available for him you can see but if i select nits if you see the available all the NIT options will be available because he didn't qualify JE advanced but he qualified JE mains if you should see triple it is it is showing even if I select GFTIs it will show everything other GFTIs only IITs it, it didn't show because JE advanced he didn't qualify so if you qualified JE advanced IITs will also be shown so it, this here is the choice filling and when you are entering choice filling it is again asking for OTP so you can enter the OTP here please enter the received email id otp to your mobile number or email id and click on submit so after that you will be taken to this particular portal so here you can see you can filter out based on the selection if i select iits as he is not eligible it's not showing there and if i select nits all the options available choices will be shown here and triple it's and uh, and other gfts just like earlier i whatever i shown you so there you can select all institute types if you want nits you can just select nits and whatever nit separately if you want to see bopal or something you can just see that if you can add it add uh, remove and all that so regarding this clear video will be made tomorrow please wait for that uh, okay so uh, that's more about uh, this thing uh, so choice filling choice locking is not open yet once you are done with this either you can fill your choices and you can or you can log out from here so that's it guys uh, that's about registration i hope you have completed along with me so i hope uh, you guys have seen how you have to register for your uh, josa 2024 so tomorrow morning i will be posting how you have to fill the choices so uh, like what is the process of filling choices and everything in a clear and detailed manner so if you don't want to miss that particular video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon of this channel so that whenever i post a video tomorrow morning so you will not miss out on that on that particular video right so yeah guys uh, so that's it for this video i hope you have completed your registration successfully if yes please give me a thumbs up for this particular video if this video helped you complete your registration and also do share this video whoever is going to participate in josa 2024 and if you are someone 
uh, who need a guidance or in who need a elder brother or elder sister to guide you throughout josa counseling do check out the mentorship link in the description and join there so we are ready to help you and believe in us so i am saying and i am believing and that whatever rupee every single rupee paid by you is going to become worthy enough if you join our mentorship so that's what i am believing in you also believe in us and do register for our josa counseling mentorship chalo guys that's it uh, that's it for this video if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind